The iCup drug screen is designed to screen for the presence of 3 to 10 drugs of abuse. Most versions of the iCup contain an integrated specimen validity test or SVT strip. In this video, you will be shown how to administer, interpret, and if necessary, package a non-negative test result for confirmation testing. Let's begin. Step 1. Collection. To begin the collection process, verify the expiration date printed on the pouch and open in front of the donor just before use. Next, instruct the donor to fill the eye cup with their urine specimen to a level above the temperature strip. Once the specimen is collected, have the donor secure the lid on the eye cup and return the device to the collector. The collector should also check that the lid is tightly secured. Next, instruct the donor to initial or sign and date the security seal. Then place the seal over the test device, covering the lid and down the sides of the cup. Make sure donor and collector remain inside of the specimen until the security seal is in place. Step 2. Validity Check When verifying the validity of a specimen, check both the temperature of the specimen and the indicators on the SVT strip. For the specimen to be valid, the temperature must be within 90 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the range of the temperature strip. The SVT strip checks for oxidants, specific gravity, and pH. To view this strip, remove the smaller of the two labels on the front of the eye cup. Using the color chart provided in your box, compare the SVT strip to the color matrix on the chart. For a specimen to be considered valid, the SVT strip must match the normal range on the color chart. If any of the readings appear abnormal, the specimen is invalid and an additional specimen must be collected in a new eye cup device. Step 3. Interpreting the results. To interpret the test results, peel back the larger label on the front of the eye cup. The test results are interpreted by viewing the lines in the test results windows. Negative results may be interpreted as soon as all lines are visible. Non-negative results should only be interpreted at 5 minutes. Here is an example of a negative eye cup result. Notice the presence of a line next to the C or control areas in all of the result windows. This indicates that the test is valid. Now observe the lines next to the T or number lines. A line next to a T or number indicates a negative result for that particular drug with the corresponding drug abbreviation below. Some iCup devices test for multiple drugs and are interpreted by matching the number in the result window with the corresponding numbered drug abbreviation. In this picture, there is a line next to every T and number line. This indicates that the iCup is negative for all drugs. Any indication of a line, regardless of color intensity, should be interpreted as a negative test result. The next image is an example of a non-negative test result. Notice the presence of a line next to the C or control areas in all windows. This indicates that the test is valid. However, the line beside the T for methamphetamine is missing. This indicates a non-negative result for that drug. In this case, the iCup device has produced a non-negative result for methamphetamine. The presence of other drugs all tested negative. Remember to wait the full five minutes before documenting a result as non-negative. The last image is an example of an invalid test result as indicated by the absence of a control line. If at 5 minutes any of the control lines are not visible, then the test must be discarded and considered invalid. All invalid test results must be considered inconclusive and a retest must be given prior to documenting any result. Invalid results should not be documented. Step 4. Recording Result each box of iCup devices comes with a photocopy template. To use the template for recording results, place the copy template face down on the scanner bed of the copy machine. Next, place the pre-run iCup over the opening on the copy template and press copy. Once a copy of the results has been made, simply fill out the photocopy by following the pre-printed instructions. Non-negative test results should be handled in accordance with your company's drug-free workplace policy. The iCup has been designed to allow for the entire test device to be packaged and sent to the laboratory of your choosing for confirmation testing. It is important to remember that the iCup is only an initial screen and all non-negative results should be confirmed by a SAMHSA certified laboratory. For reference, the iCup device comes with a step-by-step -step procedure card that details how to operate the device and interpret the results.